Hey, good morning. It's time for Pastor Rick's Reflections for August 11th, 2020. Today we are celebrating and remembering um, St. Clair, or otherwise known as Claire, the Abbess of San Damiano. We'll tell you a little bit about her, um, read from uh, her writing, and then we'll all pray together. So Claire was born in 1193 to a noble family in Assisi, Italy. In 1212, she established a women's Franciscan community that's now known as the Poor Clares. Uh, Forty years later, in 1252, she composed a rule for her order. And in 1253, the year after she composed that rule, she passed away there in Assisi. Claire of Assisi, inspired by the preaching of Francis, ran away from home, cut off her hair as a sign that she refused any marriage contracted by her noble family, replaced her upper-class attire with a sackcloth robe, and established an order of religious women dedicated to contemplative prayer, radical poverty, manual labor, and extreme austerity. Such um, asceticism was not universally admired in a society with newly capitalist ideas. She exemplifies the many Christian women throughout history who rejected their parents' wishes in their service to God. In art, she is sometimes shown with a uh, monstrance and its consecrated host. The story is told that holding it forth, she protected her convent from attack by foreign soldiers. And this is from Claire. <clears throat> Prize the counsel of our venerable minister general beyond the advice of others, and cherish it as dearer to you than any gift. If anyone would tell you something else or suggest something which would hinder your perfection or seem contrary to your divine vocation, even though you must respect him, do not follow his counsel. But as a poor virgin, embrace the poor Christ. Look upon him who became contemptible for you and follow him, making yourself contemptible in the world for him. Your spouse, the more beautiful than the children of men, became your salvation, the lowest of men, despised, struck, scourged, untold times throughout his whole body, and then died amid the sufferings of the cross. Gaze upon him, consider him, contemplate him as you desire to imitate him. Let us pray. Good and gracious God, we continue to thank you for blessing us with a new day, a new chance to love you and to love and serve your people. We thank you for men and women throughout the ages who have dedicated their lives to you today. We thank you for Claire, who gave up riches and an easy life, not just to serve you, but also to establish an order through which women for over a century have uh, found ways uh, to reach out to the poor, uh, to serve you, uh, and uh, share uh, their love for you uh, for years and years in communities all over the world. Continue to bless us with leaders like Claire who show us your uh, love uh, through, the, through the giving of their lives uh, in, in lives of service Help us uh, to see where we can serve you and where we can serve your people, uh, especially those who are poor and hurting. Continue to watch over those who are sick now. Uh, protect us uh, so that we can keep each other from being sick. Uh, help us find a cure, a vaccine, whatever we can uh, to help end this pandemic. Watch over us. Help us to love one another always. And remind us how to do that by showing us your love. In Christ's name we pray. Amen.